How's it going? Um, good. Well, first, I want to say the show looks hilarious. Now, are you guys drawing from like your own experiences, not just with like the struggle of like solely like rising to fame, but also with like having people try to like jump on your kind of coattails there and, and use you guys to uh, climb themselves? I'll let, the, I'll let the writer answer that. I mean, it was definitely based on, on our experiences watching our seemingly contemporaries rise to such stardom uh, and we were sort of watching like up the rest of you know fans and, and, and thinking like that's so weird we know them but then they're famous now um, but we certainly draw on our own, our own experiences I think it's I mean it is I think what Hugh Larry and Rachel have done that I think is so like insane and funny and kind of um, anarchistic is they really are it's all coming from a real place I mean, they're playing themselves, slightly heightened versions of themselves, the not that much. No. It's, it's pretty close <laughs> to the truth. But it's like they're using their real lives, and I, I think that's uh, I really like daring to kind of throw yourself well, you, out there. And I think they've that. even said that it didn't fully really come, like, didn't fully realize what you were doing till we were right. almost done shooting. But it was just for us, um, well, and the, other thing the authenticity is what's really funny and uh, the real life situations that we've all been in, the cringier the better and why not make fun of it. <laughs> so y'all have all, all right. like, so you know, boss not kind of the and you're real. I kind of died. So, I mean, have y'all been in, in experiences like that? Like, where does that inspiration really come from? Is it hard it's to ask? coming from their lives. <laughs> I mean, if I, when I'm nervous, I talk too much, and then I say the wrong thing, and then I um, I really have a problem. That's why, I don't know, why am I talking right now? That's all that's going on in my head. Why are you talking? Stop talking. Well, and they're great. I mean, I Rachel, all of them, but Rachel is, is so really a particularly sharp observer of the, the human condition. And can watch anything and will pick out the one thing that's like not in a critical way. Half the time, it's like about herself. It's like I always appreciate when someone's like, I know, I know what my own flaws are, and I'm ready, I'm, I'm willing to kind of like poke fun at them instead of making fun of somebody else. She will always make herself the butt of the joke, which is my. Yeah, favorite very, kind of humor. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think that's when you can, you don't feel like somebody being snarky, you feel like, oh God, please don't, I'm like getting a rash watching you, that's my favorite. Now, how exciting is it to have this air at South by Southwest? It's amazing, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I've never been uh, out of my house, barely. <laughs> so this is, I've never been to a film festival, so this is very exciting. And I think there's something, I mean, there's such a, I love South by Southwest because I think it's really for the creatives, and I think it's for the people that are not doing the standard run-of-the-mill shows, that you plug in the numbers, there's a formula to it. I think it's for people that's like, like it or not, here's what we've made, and I think we can let you do it really creative. That's why we're so old and we're only just now thing. whatever this. That's right. when you get something um, original. We were doing like, like, I don't know, personally, I want to watch something where we just, I'm surprised by it and I'm thrown off and I'm, we just, I'm a little uh, embarrassed. And right you get all of that from, <laughs> from their show. So, it's kind um, of incredible. You know, and also and so y'all all hail from right? the Groundlings group. See, and and what's it like to kind of like have that kind of cohesive vibe? And kind of so what is the weirdest thing? I mean, it's it's like family. Yeah, it is like family. Um, we were traveling for we were pitching the show uh, 12 big, years ago. Yeah. Uh, like performing. What I would describe as where she met her husband, it's where I met Ben. Online, a massive I mean, there's something about online. coming through a program that, and the man that, taking that is the pitch kept that challenging and that competitive. Uh, during that the you come out on the other side. And of it, thing, you're I know bonded. this is You're funded for life. He's like, I need two lots of this. He just ordered drinks for him. And you realize you can't do this business alone. And it's inspiring. They, uh, so many of the people uh, on our show, happened. we wrote just toward them and for them. Like and thankfully, most of them were cast in roles that we were envisioning um, them in. Uh, and uh, there's just like, like, so many really inspiring voices the that came out of the Groundlings. And I'm okay, like, this is And it's really, it's really exciting for us that we've known. Being in a place like Groundlings, you see so many incredible people. 
incredible mm -hmm. performers, incredible um, writers, what I like about that it maybe everybody show, else doesn't show, know. And it has nothing to the, do with the their talent level or how incredible they are. So to be able to give them so many people that really we know a format and a place to really shine yeah. and yeah. Then yeah. have all these people look at them. And not only just all the really well-known people that come in, but it's the unknown people that I find really exciting. Someone you don't know just comes in and crushes it. And uh, that to me is like, <laughs> that, that, that's the coolest part. They are now. Yeah. And they are, they I know are we're really excited about seeing the show. Thank you so much, yeah, ladies, for talking to us. Too.